Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Cadet Gilroy. I'm going to be going over the disassembly, assembly, and function check of an M4 series rifle. Right, so before you disassemble the weapon, you're going to want to ensure that the weapon is unsafe and that it is clear. So here we see the selector level lever. Uh, the weapon is unsafe here. And in order to check that the weapon's clear, we're going to pull the bolt back and look inside of the uh, chamber there, and there's no brass, so the weapon is clear. Then we're going to start the disassembly. So you're going to press in on this pen here, and if you look on the other side, it pulls out right there, then that comes apart. Um, I like to keep this bolt in this part here and while I'm doing this so that I don't lose part pieces, um, but that does come out at another point. So now you're going to take the bolt out. Um, so you pull that charging handle back. Here's your bolt. And set that here. Take the charging handle. It just kind of drops out there. So that, that here. Alright, so now we can go ahead and take the rest of the rifle apart. So we're going to take this pen out. And to, just like we did on the other side. I'm going to pull this out here. And that comes out like that. These two pens do stay in this part of the weapon. Uh, so we can set this here. Now you're going to want to uh, take the bumper out, the buffer spring out. And press down on that little pin there. Pull this out. And then the spring just pulls out as well. Kind of got to work it there. struggle right right and uh, you can see that that little pin presses in so that's what I was pressing on I was taking that the buffer out all right so we can set that there and now we're going to go ahead and disassemble the bolt now in the field um, you have to be really careful not to lose all your pieces so you're going to want to make sure you have a PC or something else I've got my PC here so I'm going to use that and set all the smaller pieces in it so I don't lose it that way I can keep a hold of it. So this little retaining pin is the first thing you want to take out. Um, so just stick your thumb in there and you can pull it comes right out, right? So I'm going to make sure I set that on my PC so I don't lose it. And then here, the bolt here is going to come out. So you press in, or actually we'll take the firing pin out. So this is your firing pin. And it comes out of that little pin there that we took out earlier is what holds this in, keeps it from falling out. Um, so now we're going to take the bolt out, and this little piece, if you twist it there, see how it twists, um, then you can pull that out, set this in, in there as well, and then this comes out too. Um, so now your weapon is completely disassembled, um, yeah. Alright, so now we will begin the uh, reassembly of your weapon, so just like, um, kind of basically the backwards way of uh, taking it apart, right? So we're going to put the bolt in here. Um, and as, you, as you can see, let's see the camera will focus, there is a different size to your bolt here. So you're going to want to put this side with the little divots in there and facing towards you first. And then with that in there, you're going to put this back in. Alright, so I lied. It's the other way. It's so the side with the divots face down, right? You put it in there. I'll give it a little bit of a, a touch there. Put this in. Okay, I gotta get it to work. And then you're gonna want to twist this 90 degrees, or you can just pull on this. You can twist it. That'll keep that that way because now you're the hole that was in that is going to line up and you're going to see how you can see daylight through there. Now the firing pin fits right in and that just kind of drops in like that. Um, and then now you're going to put your little retaining pin in. Um, make sure you get this in good so you don't want it to you don't want it to fall out. So you should be able to flick it like this, right? And uh, yeah, there you go. There's your bolt back together now. Um, we'll go ahead and put the uh, buffer spring in back in here. Uh, to get it in, you might have to press that little tab down. 
should go in fairly well. There we go. And now we're going to grab the buffer. And if you see these little divots there, these will help you get it in. There you go. Now that press is back in. Alright, and so now we can put our PC away or put it back on our head if that's where we had it. And we're going to put the charging handle and the bolt back in the upper receiver here. And as you can see, maybe there are little notches there where this goes in. Just kind of slides up to the top there, slides back in. But we don't want to put it in all the way yet because we want to put the bolt in. So you want to flick it forward and make sure that this piece is all the way up underneath that gas tube there. And you're going to slide the bolt in right there and you're going to push them in together. Right? All right, and then they're going to want to put this pin in. So this will be your first one. I don't like taking that part off because it's just, you don't necessarily have to, and it makes it harder to get on. But yeah, so I just pushed it back in right here on this side. You can see it there, right there. Um, you're going to shut the rifle, push this pin in, and I just push forward on this, right? And just push that back in. All right, and... Yeah, so now your weapon is completely assembled. Alright, so now that you have your weapon assembled, you're going to perform a function check. So first thing you're going to do is make sure the weapon is on safe. Alright, so the weapon is on safe as we can see here. You're going to pull the trigger make sure the hammer doesn't drop. Then you're going to put the weapon on semi. You're going to pull the hammer, hammer drops. Pull the trigger, hammer drops. You're going to keep your finger on the trigger there. Uh, do not let go of that. Pull the bolt back, let it go back forward. Then you're going to release the trigger, and you can hear that noise there, that click. Then you're going to keep it on semi, pull the trigger, make sure that the weapon fires, or hear the hammer drop. You're going to let go of the trigger, and now you can't put the weapon on safe yet. Uh, and then you're going to pull the bolt back, let it go forward, put it on safe, close your dust cover. And that is assembly, or disassembly, assembly, and function check open.